Welcome back to another episode of Madden 16 Career Mode, this time featuring Dwayne Thompson. In week three, 2-0, going against another 2-0 team, playing in San Diego against the Chargers. Now, this game right here is going to be pretty, pretty weird because, as you guys know, I do play most of the games and then I record it, then I fix it and edit it up. But with this one, it's going to be weird and you guys will see how weird it is in the next episode. But in this episode, we are only going to be playing one game. And in that game, our third string quarterback is going to be starting because our other two quarterbacks are injured. Now, if you look at the wide receivers for the Chargers, they have Keenan Allen, who's a 90 overall. Josh Gordon, who decided to put down the marijuana and is an 87 overall. Steve Johnson, who is an 83 overall. You take a look at our receivers. 79 overall. 78 overall. 76 overall. Some pretty solid receivers, but they're not up to par. But when you look at our tight end, Jordan Reed, probably the best passing option for our quarterback. So I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim, and you do that by showing different formations in play. But what happens? The run loses yards. Later into the first quarter, on a second and 12, Philip Rivers throws a dot to his wide receiver. I believe that was Josh Gordon. And on the third and four right here, standing in the pocket, taking the hit, throwing to the drag route, Stevie Johnson. This first and goal right here, why not hand it off to one of the premier backs in the NFL? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is Alfred Morris. Not only do they have a trio of great wide receivers, they also have Alfred Morris. This team right here is ridiculous. And the passing can play still continues on that third and 12. But on this third and 11 right here, a pass out into the flash does not get enough for the first down. So luckily, we stopped their offense. And not only that, our offense goes on the field and scores to make it a 10-7 game. Now you would think that since we stopped it then, that our defense would have the momentum, right? The passing display that Phillip Rivers is displaying right now is ridiculous. Like literally, for that first half, we could not stop Phillip Rivers in that passing offense. So we move on to the second half of the game, down by four points, a handoff to Alfred Morris who gets dropped by Dwayne Thompson, a huge hit right there. And on the very next play, Phillip Rivers gets his pass intercepted by the one and only Dwayne Thompson, three interceptions for the year. And that is his 20th career interception right there. Dwayne Thompson. Skied up high for that INT. Giving us, giving the offense the ball in a good foot position. Allowing them to put up more points on the board as we lead by three. Another interception. Rivers was in heavy duress and just threw it up. You just don't do that. You just don't do that. Like, don't do that ever. Man coverage with the slot receiver. You're under the rest and you decide to just throw it up to where Thompson is. That's not, that's not, that's not smart at all. He's bound to come down with it. Hey, 
So with a little bit left in the third quarter, with it being 24 to 21, none of the defenses can stop the offense from scoring. Although we have two takeaways, it doesn't matter because Phillip Rivers is still out here throwing dots like right there to Stevie Johnson. And on this second and two, a miscommunication by the Redskins secondary as they leave a wide open person in the back of the end zone. I don't know who number 84 is. I don't know who that is. I know that's not Keenan Allen. But nonetheless, he did score that TD. So now we're down by four. The Chargers have it at the 44. Oh my gosh, Philip Rivers is Philip Rivers didn't watch film. He could not have watched film this week. He did not watch film this week. I think Philip Rivers probably skipped film. That makes three interceptions for Dwayne Thompson in this one game. Sadly, our offense did not score on that possession. But on this third and 16, Phillip Rivers takes too long to throw the ball and he gets clobbered in the backfield as he fumbles the ball and we recover it on the two yard line. Now, if you don't score from there, I don't know what I, I don't know what's wrong with our offense. He got annihilated back there. He had to let go of the football. And which that we do, not only do we score, but we also kick a field goal to be on top, 34 to 28. And with only two seconds left on the second and 20, that ball gets batted down. And we leave San Diego 3-0, and giving the Chargers their first loss of the season. Not only that. We beat him with our third string quarterback. Now, mind you, next week's episode is going to get strange. It is going to be strange. So be on the lookout for that. And make sure you subscribe to see when next week's episode is or the next episode. It might be. I might upload it this week. You never know. But as always, folks, I'm out of here. Catch you guys later. Peace.